I just finished my STCW, now I need to find a job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go talk to Jill from Denison and find out exactly the ins and outs of being a good crew member and getting a good job. Not just a job, but a great job. Check out the show. And this is the bottom line. Hey everybody, I'm Doug. And I'm Christy. And this is The Bottom Line. Welcome. Welcome How are you back. guys doing? Hello. We're still at Flips. What's we Flips? Are. Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We're going to take some time. We're going to talk to Jill from Denison Yachts. She is the crew manager and she's going to give you guys some in, uh, insights on how to get that job or how to keep that job. But first we got a couple of things to do. What's our, what's our sponsors? Ah, oh, well we have Marine Data Solutions and Salty Rag Screw Apparel. Okay, Marine Data Solutions, we all know, we've got 99 problems on board. And the, and the internet's, internet's not one of them! And Salty Rag Screw Apparel. Salty Rags, what do they do for us? They keep us looking fly, of course. Okay, especially if you're co-host, you get fly gear like this. Isn't fly that nice with like the bottom this. line and everything? So, uh, we, we are go. at the Denison uh, Float. We are. Uh, at the boat show, and Jill is the crew manager at Denison. Now, what we're gonna talk about this episode <laughs> is getting people jobs on boats and keeping the jobs. Jill is the go-to girl for Denison. She does all kinds of behind the scenes work. It's not like, oh, here's my resume, get me a job. She does a lot more. So Jill, welcome. welcome. Thank you for having me. So, so Jill, Glad my, to have you. <laughs> my, my first question is as new crew, yeah. what should new crew in, coming into the industry be doing to get your attention and to get the captain's attention? Well, I think it first starts with their CVs. Um, it's really great. You have to have a proper CV, the formatting, get a great profile yep, photo, sure. yep. um, and basically have something that's brief and to the point mm -hmm. and not a long story because as Captain Doug knows, <laughs> <laughs> he gets a lot of CVs, resumes. Time is sensitive. Yeah, and, uh, yeah time, timing. Yeah. And what he does is he'll scan them just looking for the key points and then maybe he'll go back and read them so a photo a, skills. A, 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 with skills and experience now and you're saying that a resume shouldn't be three pages long no it should you can have it two pages that's okay. fair uh, include your references uh, it's always good to have references or written references are ideal as well okay keep the resume short we don't want your whole life story I can tell you that as a captain and the more you embellish the worse it gets for you. Short, to the point, that's the interview part is where you tell your story. The resume part is to get somebody's attention. Short, sweet, to the point. Well, I also think what's really important starting out is just getting to know crew personally because it's, so, you know, everyone could have experience, they can have the certificates, but uh, the personality fit and crew dynamic are what are paramount on board. So the second thing is getting to know the crew. Mm -hmm. So that means going to the bars, getting <laughs> slosh drunk, skateboarding down 17th Street, stuff like that. That's what crew does, right? Not quite. Oh, no. okay. You're telling me more do, on... Do you want me to place those kinds of crew with you? No, I don't want this crew. There we go. So you're saying from a get to know the crew dynamic from a professional level. From a professional level and just knowing where to put people. Okay. So let's say I'm a deckhand and mm -hmm. now I've got your attention. Mm -hmm. My resume is in front of you. What do you do in the background to make sure that I'm okay? Uh, well, we do reference checks, like I had mentioned. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll also assist crew with their CVs so that way they can better market themselves to potential employers, meaning you'll, you'll You'll meet them. I will meet them and I will uh, help assist them with their resumes as well. Okay, so you do that as well? Yes. Okay, so you'll Answer. tweak it. So that's another, that's another good thing. If you're really serious about getting on yachting, you should probably come to Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is the place to be. Fort I mean, Lauderdale's we are an international be. industry, so you can be anywhere, I mean, because the boats are everywhere. Mm -hmm. But Fort huh. Lauderdale is, you know, the, the yachting capital. Of How many Lauderdale. offices does Denison have? Well, I think we have, let's see, I know last I checked it was 25. Could someone in a remote area actually go into one of the remote Denison locations and kind of do an interview, like a just a hey, how you doing, to kind of give them like a foot in for you? Or do you can make an initial connection, okay. and everything will be forwarded to me. Okay. And we will be also opening an office in Monaco. 
Oh, so we'll Monaco. Have an international oh, prep. Oh, Monaco. We'll have an international. Are you moving present. over there? <laughs> I'll, hopefully, I'll get to visit. Okay. <laughs> so, get down to Fall Lauderdale. Get in front of Jill. Do not list your deckhand friend as a reference, right? We would like legit references. People that you've worked for um, that could attest to your abilities. Uh, you know. Of, how you were while you were on the job with them. First red flag, first red flag for me in the reference check department is when you're a chief stew and the reference isn't coming from the captain, it's coming from the engineer. That's a red flag for me. How do you feel about that? I would question it. I mean, if they all worked in the same team, but if it's the chief stew, I would want to see it depending on the size of the boat it could be from the purser. Okay. You know, ahead of a department. Somebody above, in the same, somebody. In the same, like, if it's interior, then someone above. It's okay not to have a reference from the captain, as long as it's your superior in the same department. That's correct. If you're a chief stew and you're getting the bosun to write you a reference, that doesn't work. We see through that. Yes. In other words, <laughs> you screwed up and you can't go to the captain for a reference. It's that simple. You said it. I won't. I'll say that. it because <laughs> you, you, you'll figure it out when they walk in the door. Okay. Now, the third question is, what is the current situation with crew, especially U.S. crew? Because, you know, you're, you're in Fall Lauderdale. I mean, is there a lot of crew? Are there not crew? Are boats screaming for crew? Are you screaming for crew? Absolutely. There's a bit of a shortage right now with crew, as I know Doug can also attest to, because he's reached out to me for crew. It's a great time for new crew getting in the industry, Absolutely. where in the past, perhaps, maybe a yacht would not have given them a chance initially, but due to the shortage, they're willing to train, yep. you know, and bring them on board Absolutely. in certain situations. So totally green. And positions. Totally green. And what you're saying right now is you're experiencing as a crew placement agency, a real lack of people coming in. That's correct. We okay. definitely need more quality crew in the industry. You hear what she because said? They need crew. <laughs> Quality see, crew. Yeah. Quality crew. Jill's the girl. She's been doing this a long time. A <laughs> long time. Doug. I know. <laughs> uh, well, no, she's been doing it a long, I mean, well, I can't say a long time, three times, but I, I mean, uh, I, I have never seen anything like it in the uh, industry. This is what we're experiencing in the past 12, 18 months. When crew agencies are begging for crew, that means there's a real shortage. So I think if you're willing to work, you're willing to get in the program and stick with the program, mm -hmm. go see Jill, all right? And she'll get you all set up. I mean, Denison has a fleet. We're surrounded by boats. It's not like she doesn't have boats to put crew on. Well, we have a fleet of boats um, that I place crew for, but I can place crew on any boat. Any boat. Whether it's in our fleet with Denison um, and outside our fleet. So anyone can reach out um, if they need crew or if they're looking for a job. So it's kind of nice to have like a little bit of, I say the best of both worlds, per se, a little bit of variety. So, yeah. to recap, keep your resume short. Try and get down to Lauderdale and get face to face. Actually, a company like Denison, as it comes to crew, they'll actually help you with your CV. Now, there, there I have to be fair, there are other crew agencies out there and they all, Absolutely. And they all do a pretty decent job. They do. Um, but you know, Renaissance is part of the Denison family, so I'm a little biased. <laughs> um, but uh, keep your resume short, get down here, do a face-to-face, -face. a good crew agency will help you with your resume. Uh, keep your references uh, pertaining to work and to your supervisors because it's a negative effect if you put your friend's friend on there because it makes it look like something's wrong, right? Correct. And then, and One then. Another good key point, sorry to Go ahead, no, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. Um, invest in education. Um, education is key. I mean, a lot of crew will come in and of course you have to get your STCW. I know you've been through it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but when I see crew that have invested in some additional courses, maybe it's not a certificate, but maybe, you know, they're getting on a charter yacht and they what? have like a, wine, like a wine knowledge or they've taken on some sort of additional hospitality mm -hmm. course. Maybe they've been in the hospitality industry, the maybe industry. they haven't. That would help. What, but as, when I see that, I always see that. Like, as a crew placement person, what 
schooling jumps out for you besides STCW? Would it be like the stewardess classes? It's a the deckhand courses. It could be just some extras that you wouldn't, like I've seen people, like we were saying, the wine courses, the mixology, anything service related, just that little so bit of service. extra. So um, even... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I get very excited, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to share all of this. Go ahead. That's why we're here. All of the wisdom, Jill. I, I, I was just going to say that even with the crew shortage, you still want to stand up and beyond. Set yourself apart. Exactly. Yes, because you can. Anybody can get on a boat. You want to get. There's there's a difference between getting on a boat and getting on a good boat. And when I see someone that's invested in some additional courses, it just shows me their commitment to the industry and wanting a career and not just trying out this yachting thing. Okay, cool. So, not a face. Anything else, Jill? Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> I promise not to interrupt you again. I love being interrupted because we're here <laughs> to like find out. We're, we're here to pick your brain. Yes. Um, Happy to you, have you. You know me. I'm a captain. I look at a resume. Nah, no, he ain't going to make it. <laughs> no, nope, that one's off. Done. Yep. Sometimes I, Jill would actually be like, no, just meet him in person. Give him a shot. And a lot of times yep. I hire. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, just follow those rules and you'll get a job really fast, I'm sure. Check out Jill at uh, Denison Yachts. She's in the Fort Lauderdale office. They have, you, have yes. a, you have like four down here. We do. Yeah, but you can find her pretty easily on, uh, on the Denison website. Uh, happy hunting for jobs. Once you get that job, I'll, I'll tell you this. As a captain, I like longevity. Longevity is key. Hopping it, is not good. No. Yeah. No. Get on a boat and stay on it. How, and it, how long do you think... An, how long is a good stay on a boat? When I see someone, I, I would used to say three years. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but now when I see someone that's been on for at least a year, it tells me they've committed to not just a season, but a program. Okay. So another thing, you want to excel in the yachting industry, minimum one year. And I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, before it used to be three or four. Right. Yeah. But just, just hop in every three or four months to kind of one-up the boat, make more money. You're hurting yourself in the long run. Because when you're going to get to that gold-plated, perfect job, you're not going to get it because the other guys have been putting in the time. We'll get it. We'll get it. All exactly. right. Okay. Cool. Jill, thank you so much. A pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. So great to have you both here. We'll, got, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, and uh, until then, you guys be safe out there. Do your thing. Yeah. Choose. Bye. Bye.